Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brandon Stevens, Premier Homes Northwest, EXP Realty. Today I got a good one for you. I'm gonna be going over the top parks in Lacey, Washington. I need you to stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you four hidden parks that you may not even know about. All right, before we jump into this video, I do want to remind you I am a licensed real estate broker right here in the Olympia Lacey Tumwater area. We cover all the areas though, from Seattle, Tacoma, and in between, we go coastal wherever you want. Uh, also, remember, could you please like and subscribe to our videos? We're trying to bring you one every week. Also, if you want to contact me, you can get at me on Instagram or TikTok, or you can call my number personally right here, text me, shoot me an email. We're the guys that answer. I'd love to talk to you. All right, welcome to our video showcasing the beautiful parks in Lacey, Washington. From the lush green forest to the peaceful lakes, Lacey Parks has something for everyone. Whether you're looking for a place to picnic with your family, a trail to hike with your dog, or a spot to cast a line of fish, you're gonna find it here. So come along with us and we'll take you on a tour of some of Lacey's most popular parks and natural areas. You're gonna get ready to be inspired by the natural beauty and recreational opportunities that Lacey has to offer with over 1,200 acres of parkland and open space, miles of walking and biking, a premier regional athletic complex, three indoor pools, and several community buildings. Lacey residents and visitors enjoy one of the finest municipal park systems in the state. All right, so the first one on our list is a cool little park. It's called Meridian Neighborhood Park. It's a neighborhood park. It's got restrooms, picnic shelter, picnic tables, parking lot, playground equipment, and a half basketball court and an open play area. The great thing about this park is it's easily accessible from all the neighborhoods just by walking and best of all, it's just across the street or close to access points for the William Ives Trail, a one and a half mile forested natural surface walking trail through a nature preserve with fairway views of the Woodland Golf Course and the golf clubs at Hawks Prairie. All right, next on our list is Lake Lois Park. It's located off of Carpenter Road and this park features access to Lake Lois. It's got paved parking, uh, an ADA accessible picnic table, benches and other picnic tables, a barbecue grill and bank fishing. It's got a short nature trail to walk along the shoreline. It's a really quaint little park. It's great to watch wildlife and relax by the water or enjoy Woodland Creek. I love this park because it's one of the less busy parks and it's super easy to access. All right, right down the street from Lake Lois Park is Homan Park and active recreation is the main feature of this neighborhood park. It has a mini soccer field, a full basketball court, a playground, restroom, barbecue grill, drinking fountain, picnic tables and benches are provided. It's one of Lacey's oldest parks and it's about seven and a half acres. It even has its very own sandlot. You gotta check it out. It's less popular now as bigger, more modern parks have been developed, but it's really one of Lacey's coolest hidden gems. All right, next on the list is Wonderwood Park, arguably my favorite park for nostalgic reasons. It's located right in the center of Lacey. Wonderwood Park combines recreational facilities within a natural woodland atmosphere and you can just take a walk on natural trails or paved pathways that thread through the woods picnic beneath the shelter or one of the many tables provided they have athletic fields including two softball or soccer fields four pickleball courts tennis courts and a full basketball court a playground that offers plenty of room to play i just really love the heavily wooded park and the shade of the old cedar trees now this part almost made the secret parks list of lacy but on the other side of wonderwood there is a half court basketball court and a playground and also a field, lots of access to the trails and some parking back there. Not a lot of people use this part, so I kind of consider it a hidden area. I think you'd really like it, especially if you wanna get some privacy or just some quiet time alone. All right, up next we have the Lacey Depot Park, one of Lacey's newest parks. The Lacey Depot building is available to rent from May to September. You can use its indoor picnic tables for private rentals on Saturdays and Sundays. The city also hosts community events at the park while also now creating a cool food truck hub for Lacey. The depot building was the city of Lacey's 50th anniversary landmark project. It's a near replica of the original depot which opened in 1891 in the same area. It serves as a focal point of Lacey's new depot district. It complements a future museum project and provides a lunch location for school field trips and other groups to acknowledge the rail industry's role in Lacey's history and evolution as a city. It's a cool way to connect the past, the historic train depot with the future, the new museum and cultural center in the depot district, while also providing trail amenities for the Karen Fraser Woodland Trail users. The Lacey Depot Park also includes year round, a train themed play structure. It's open to park visitors from 7 a.m. to dark. 
It also has bathrooms and plenty of parking. All right, next we got Lake Point Park. It's a nine and a half acre neighborhood park with a covered picnic shelter, play fields, a half basketball court, playground equipment, and also two newly added pickleball courts to go along with your existing tennis courts. Oftentimes you'll see these fields being used as a practice space for local soccer and baseball leagues, and it's also just a great place for open field activities. All right, next up we have Horizon Point Park, and it's just a few minutes away from Lake Point Park. It is in the Horizon Point neighborhood. Uh, this park is another nine and a half acre space with covered picnic shelter, barbecue, half court basketball, playground equipment, and an open play area, which is also another spot where on most days you're gonna find teams practicing on the fields. All right, following the route, right on over to William A. Bush Park. It's just a few minutes away from Horizon Point Park and has a very similar layout to Lake Point and Horizon Park. It's a nine and a half acre park with a picnic shelter, playground equipment, and an open play area. This is a great little park to take a walk to with the dog or with the little ones over to the playground. It's not super flashy or anything, but it definitely gets the job done and it's a great little family park. All right, so let's dive into Lacey's Big Four. These parks are the four most widely used and honestly some of the real shining jewels that are significant to Lacey's identity. First, I wanna talk about Woodland Community Park. This park offers your typical covered picnic shelters with barbecue grills, a restroom, play equipment. It's got natural trails and paved walkways, but it's got the beautiful Woodland Creek that meanders through the property with Long's Pond serving as its centerpiece. It's also home to the Lacey Community Center, the Lacey Senior Center, and the White House, which hosts a number of recreation programs and events. The Community Center is available on a rental basis for meetings, receptions, and other functions. It also has a 14-hole disc golf course, driving range, and putting green. It's all located within the community park. Long's Pond features year-round fishing and a dock open during normal park hours, but no fishing license is required. However, any angler must meet one of the following criteria. They gotta be under 15 years old or over 70 years old. And these are regulations that are established by the Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife. So not up to the city of Lacey, but it's still really cool. They got a fishing derby during the summer. And on top of that, there is no boating or flotation devices or swimming allowed at Long's Pond. Next is probably our most popular spot in the summer. It's called Long Lake Park. Long Lake Park features one of the finest swimming beaches in all of Thurston County, as well as sand volleyball and picnic tables. There's 285 feet of beach frontage that stands in contrast to heavily wooded property provided with an evergreen entrance to the park site. The upland area has picnic facilities and a natural trail through the woods. And during the summer, you'll find this park just popular. It's a happening place with a great layout and the sun to just lounge around and cool off in the lake for a refreshing swim. One thing to remember, there are no lifeguards on duty at Long Lake, so it's swim at your own risk. All right, next up is Rainier Vista Park, one of the premier parks in the county. It's nearly 50 acres and has just so much to offer. This is a highly active park with several soccer fields, baseball fields, tennis courts, sand volleyball, basketball, covered picnic tables, picnic shelters, restrooms, paved walking paths, and a playground. Along with its two biggest attractions, a skate park for both intermediate and beginner participants, and I can speak from experience, it's a great place for all level of skaters, old and young as well as the pickleball courts. And pickleball has just become extremely popular here in the Northwest in the last several years. And Rainier Vista's pickleball courts are often bustling, pickup games happening weekly, as well as even local tournaments and matches. Rainier Vista is also home to Lacey's 4th of July celebration, which has live music, tons of food vendors, kids activities, all free, capped off with an amazing fireworks show in the evening. So you can bring your family there. It's just an awesome community event. Finally, we have the Regional Athletic Complex, or the RAC, as the locals will call it. This is regarded as one of the finest outdoor sporting venues in all of the state. This facility features a spectacular view of Mount Rainier on top of it, with five baseball or softball fields, six regulation soccer, football, or rugby fields, as well as picnic tables and outdoor event facilities, playgrounds, concession stands, two miles of natural surface trails, restrooms, and so much more. Year-round, this park is in full service, whether it's baseball season or tournaments being held on the ball fields or soccer season, the park is really never having a dull moment. Okay, I'm sure this is what you've all been waiting for, but I decided that I couldn't leave the list at three hidden parks, so I had to bring it up to five because there were five spots in Lacey that I think most people don't even know about or very rarely even use. All right, first on the list is Brooks Park. And look, I'm not gonna lie, this park is really nothing more than a large field and there isn't anything fancy about it at all. It's tucked between houses and it's access off a of college street with a small driveway and little signage. But the cool thing is, is many will drive by this park every day and don't even know it exists. 
Probably its best usage would be to take your dog there and let them run off some steam. Although leashes are required at all parks, it's likely you can visit this park and be the only one there the whole time. Next on the list is Lake Lois Habitat. Now we talked about Lake Lois Park, but an even less known and used park across the street is the Lake Lois Habitat. These are natural trails through a wooded area around a small picturesque lake fed by Woodland Creek is setting for a natural habitat area. It's a quarter mile interpretive loop trail that winds through the wooded area along the shoreline. An overlook of benches are located along with trails and wildlife viewing, bald eagles, herons, waterfowl, otters, deers, and squirrels are often seen. On the trail, you can find nature facts about the habitat as well. Parking and signage are limited. A few spaces are available in the northeast corner of the Safeway grocery store on the corner of Pacific and Carpenter. And you may also park at the Woodland Community Park and use the crosswalk to go across the street and you can access it from there. Next up is Wanchers Community Park. It's a heavily wooded gym on the shores of Hicks Lake. This park features grassy picnic areas, picnic tables, bank fishing, natural surface trails, and paved walking trails, along with breathtaking views of Mount Rainier. Although there is plenty of signage, it just seems like this park just isn't really used a ton. It's a quaint little walk on a beautiful piece of property with great views of the beautiful Hicks Lake. All right, next up is Pleasant Glade Park. So this may not be a park you'll be dying to go to, but if you're looking for a change of scenery or some privacy, this is a cool little park that is worth checking out. It's a little over 40 acres and you can stroll through the trail or just sit back and relax. This is an undeveloped park site featuring a small pond and about 2,100 feet of a Woodland Creek frontage. And keep in mind, there's currently no parking for this park at this time. I'd suggest parking down at Pleasant Glade Elementary and walking over. It's kind of really your only option if you don't live within the vicinity. But this park is part of a larger plan that Lacey has coming in the future called Quio Park, which will be Lacey's crown jewel of outdoor space. The park is scheduled to be around 410 acres and will feature a mountain bike park, an off-leash dog area, demonstration gardens, food forest, fitness loop, 18-hole disc golf course, a playground, out outdoor education, two official trails spanning 100 acres, and phase one is scheduled to be opening sometime in 2024. All right, so one of the late entries into the top five hidden parks of Lacey are the Hawks Prairie Ponds and Recharge Basins. At this site, you're gonna find Class A reclaimed water flows through several wetland ponds before entering shallow basins where it soaks slowly into the ground. This is a park-like setting and is a great place to walk, view wildlife, and learn more about reclaimed water at several informational kiosks. Now, I just love this place. It's quaint, it's cute, it's a well-manicured walk. I love the lit up lean-tos that you can go and sit on the bench and watch the wildlife. The ponds are usually bustling with ducks or geese frogs and it's a great place to take kids for more informational and educational walks or maybe you just want to walk your dog and enjoy a nice cool spring night all right and last but not least i do want to put this disclaimer this is not an official lacy park this is part of a neighborhood in an hoa and it does have some signs up that say for residents only but with that being said nobody's really using it and it's out on a public street I think you're gonna have no problems if you went there. The park also features modern fitness equipment integrated into the landscape, allowing visitors to work out in a natural setting with a variety of cardio, strength, and flexibility stations. It's perfect for fitness enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. So whether you wanna go on a jog or do yoga or challenge yourself with a tough workout, this park has it all. So I think you'd really enjoy stopping by. I'm gonna put the location in the description uh, I don't want to blow up the neighborhood, but if you wanted to cruise out there and just check it out, it's right by Rainier Vista Park. I'll let you know where it's at in the description. All right, so there you have it. We covered a lot, not all, but a lot of the city of Lacey's parks. If you'd like to know more about the parks in the city of Lacey, feel free to reach out to me anytime. Remember, I'm a licensed realtor in the area, so knowing all the little nooks and crannies of Lacey Olympian area is what I specialize in. You can contact me anytime on the number here. I'm the one that answers the call, so feel free to reach out to me anytime. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.